Hello gentlemen, welcome to our video on section 10.5 where we're going to explore the concept of gas density. And we're going to relate this to something we're very familiar with already, with, which is molar mass. Now we know that density is equal to the mass of an object divided by the volume. Now we can take our ideal gas law equation, PV equals nRT, and rearrange it to kind of resemble this. We can rearrange it to this, N over V equals P over RT. This is still some number of moles of a substance divided by the volume. Now this is not mass over volume, but it's moles over volume. But we know how to convert between mass and moles. Here, if we take the number of moles, multiply times the molar mass, which we're going to call uppercase M here. If you multiply these two together, the product is the mass. Pretty straightforward. So you have to know the identity of the substance you're, substance you're dealing with. So if you're dealing, dealing with CO2, you have one carbon, two oxygens, that's a molar mass of 44.01 grams per mole. You have the number of moles of carbon dioxide plus the times the molar mass, giving you the mass of carbon dioxide. Now, if I apply this to this equation, meaning I multiply both sides of my equation by the molar mass, I get you know, times M there and times m there, molar mass, which is uppercase m, times n, your moles, gives you mass, which we have down here. Your volume stays the same, and I have p times the molar mass divided by r divided by t, which is here. So if we put all these together, we went from there, there, to now here. Now, we know that density is mass over volume. Since that is true, then that means that m over v, mass over volume, is also equal to p times m divided by r divided by t. So density is equal to the pressure multiplied times your molar mass divided by universal gas constant divided by your temperature in Kelvin. So the density of a gas can be calculated if the pressure, temperature, and molar mass of a gas is known. Now practice this by solving this, this problem on your own. It says, what is the density of carbon tetrachloride vapor at 714 millimeters of mercury and 125 degrees Celsius? Gentlemen, work on this problem, take notes, and work on your problem set. Adios.